Yeah, the Fit to Fight program is actually my program that I started. That's a uh, MMA technique and nutrition and strength conditioning kind of. I feel like one of its kind. It's um, just everything all together. You know, some like you got some jujitsu techniques. So you got Dwayne's kickboxing techniques. This is a whole package to learn to become either a better fighter or just get in shape, right? I didn't really touch too much on the mental. Um, cause that's everyone deals with that differently because not everyone's in the same position, you know um, And that's something I've actually changed throughout my life. I wish I had time to watch TV I don't have time to watch TV, but uh, for me, it's just enjoying what I, I'm lucky. I, I love my job I love getting in the gym. I love pushing myself to new extremes. I love torturing myself and going down to 125s um, running for an hour and a half in the morning before I go to practice uh, So for me that that is what I want to do um, and so I'm in the right mental spot. The, the night of competition, that's something that's hard to teach people. You know, you gotta be able to enjoy it and have fun. Um, and why not Why not remember this process, everything I've done, rather than be so nervous that I forget about it. And uh, I'm excited to be out there and fight on Saturday. With, uh, with this weight cut, has there, there been any special attention to that first meal after the after the weight drop, you're kind of like, yeah, it's going to be good. This one has to be good. That made New York. Yeah. 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 Cheesecake or something. Man, Cheesecake. I don't know if I can go too ham to begin with because I might get sick. You know? <laughs> I've, been, I've been on such a strict diet, man. Like, my psoriasis. I had psoriasis. You know, like certain things, like autoimmune things you have. Like, I had psoriasis that is completely gone now because of the diet I'm on. Like, certain things in my energy level, my testosterone levels, like, so much has changed it's going to be hard for me to just let it all go and I'm sure I'm going to have some dessert and some pizza you know but there's been no thought on that yet I do have a list when I get home though of places I gotta I gotta eat at restaurants guys you know there's a little list but like a little checklist hopefully I can get through it within the week and then be done what, what, what type of food is on that list what, what, what are we looking for? man I love sushi um, I love Thai food I mean I, I'm, a, I'm a foodie. I love it all, you know. But probably, I'd probably say sushi and Thai food is probably my top choices. Yeah. You better food in Orange County or better food in Sacramento? Man, that's one thing that Sacramento does have is great food. They do have good food. I wouldn't. The city of Orange County and uh, cities in Orange County yeah. are better, but the food in Sacramento is amazing. I miss McCoonies. Like. I was going to say, there was the sushi place man, up there. That was well, I saw the roll up there. You can go up there yeah. and order the TJ roll. I had it, I think. I, I need to get up there. I need yeah. to go just to just yeah. the TJ roll. Go into enemy territories, see if I can make it out. Yeah. It looks like you have some fresh ink there. Uh, is there oh. any symbolism behind that? Or what? Yeah, so uh, my uh, tattoo artist, I got my whole, uh, his whole sleeve done by Oscar Kirmo. But um, this is a lion here, and his hands representing a globe, right? But the globe is made out of a snake in the Infinity logo. Say I'm gonna be king of the world forever. I got a rose in the middle of it, just showing how fragile life is. Um, the compass around the snakes, kind of representing just uh, the direction of life in the world. You know, so yeah, man. My whole sleeve's got too much meaning. Yeah, it takes it, it takes a lot of time, but yeah, it's uh, he's been a great artist to help me expand what I wanted to do. Yeah, Did you key you. your son's car the other day? No. <laughs> that was such a funny it's picture. It's too nice. <laughs> too nice of a car. But you got a nicer car than I do. <laughs> It always changes, I guess, where you're at in life and what victories they are and things like that. I, I want to go on vacation after this one. I haven't done it. Um, I usually talk about doing a vacation after a fight, but it's always been straight to work. You know, I have other businesses that I've started that need my attention that it's hard for me to leave. You know, I got my spice company, Flavor Republic. It's been taking some time after my fights, the gym, the training lab. Um, I fit the fight program. I'm starting a uh, cold press juice company. Um, so I have a, a lot going on that it's hard to get away. Because when, when I disappear, things don't don't work as great. So, but I need to make sure that I spend time with the family and get away. I, I have a one-year-old son now. I mean, obviously he's only one, so he doesn't really get to recognize it. But just even getting to spend that a vacation for me is like leave my phones at home, go spend three or four days with my son and my, my wife. You know, so. Would Hopefully want, that's the plan. Would you want your son to fight? Like to follow and you put some I want him to do whatever he wants to do. I won't tell him no or yes. I mean, not really, but I would never tell him no. You know, it's, it's definitely a rough lifestyle. Um, but if he wants to do it, more power to him and I'll, I'll follow him. He could be a cheerleader, he could be an MMA fighter, whatever he wants to do, and I'll follow him.